guys and welcome to another video of Tom's World. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a watertight container for matches or anything else you need to keep uh, dry in a survival situation. For this video you will need two sets of pliers, a lighter, a match and a straw. Okay, this is how you need to make them. You need to take your straw and you need to put, uh, you need to take your pliers. You need a plier just near one end of it just like that, you don't want to go over the end, you just want a little bit of the end sticking out. You then take your lighter and singe the end of that straw. Don't melt it too much, uh, otherwise it won't work. Now take your other pair of pliers and clamp that shut while it's still quite warm, otherwise you won't be able to mould it. Like that. Right, after you've done that, you go to the other side and put in whatever you want to keep watertight. For example, your matches or, you know, your fireproof stuff, your tinder or whatever. So you put... I'm just going to cut it down a bit first. There we go. You can use it to make multiple straws. Um, so, yeah. So, um... You put your match in. Now you do the same process as we did at the start with the other end, but be careful this time not to light the match, otherwise that does end dreadfully. If you have any spare space, just uh, um, just clamp that off as well. Obviously make sure it's clamped quite well, don't do half a job on it, otherwise it won't work quite well. And uh, that is a waterproof container for your matches, anything else you want to keep dry, tinder, that sort of thing. Or, it's, also, um, it's also very co um, colourful, so you'll find it yeah. in your bag. If you've got any red straws or blue straws, something that stands out quite well, that does work well as well for this sort of method, because then you can find them in your survival pack or your bag or whatever you're using. Um, okay, thanks for watching guys, uh, if you like this video please like below, subscribe for more videos and comment if you've got anything like this or I've got a better method for doing this. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.